Some crazy things are happening to crypto right now as we speak. And if you're wondering, why do the crypto prices keep coming down? What's really going on in the background and who are the people selling billions of dollars in Bitcoin right now? I've got a little update for you because it might not be what you expect. And well, after watching this, you'll understand exactly how long it'll take, etc. Just give this video a like and let's dive right in. Because first of all, we were right. At 47,000, we were saying that 39.6 was coming. And actually right now, I think we're at 38.9 or something. So that was pretty nice because as I said before, I went out a lot of my positions at that price point. Having said that, all that we talk about on Dusty Trades, uh, but I just want to quickly say that right now, we're actually at 39.1. So a nice little dip opportunity. And again, I embrace every single dip while the stock market is actually having a little negative little peep squeeze right there as well. Just wanted to quickly make that clear. But all of this stuff, we will go over on Dusty Trades if you're interested. This is still the XRP chart, by the way. Still waiting for the breakout. Anyway, to come back to the story, part of what is happening right now still has to do with just the massive amount of Bitcoin deposited by Grayscale onto Coinbase, which of course are set to be sold. However, as you most likely have already seen from my Twitter feed, I really hope you guys are following me over there. There's also massive amounts of fear of this. Massive. 200,000 Bitcoin dump expected in basically 60 days or so as the Mt. Gox Bitcoin are set to release. And now, even though I don't want to dive too deep into my trades here, as we have a secondary channel for that, I do want to quickly say that our worst case scenario here in this, uh, I, I guess, alignment in this situation is still $33,000 per Bitcoin. Why, if you're wondering, why do we not think this is bad? Why do we think this is just fear? And why do I see this as such a juicy opportunity? It's because in previous bull markets, if you look back, you'll see it makes sense. The average correction is somewhere in the 20s of percent. A move all the way towards 33 would be a 30% correction, which would be significant, extremely significant for a bull market. It would actually be 33-ish percent, which is basically above our average correction. And it's just a really, really normal size correction exactly at where our previous run basically went uh, parabolic, I'm going to call it. And that's exactly where my last line of massive defense buying is. But I'll say it again, even though I want to talk about it on the trading channel, we have our bots basically buy down lower. So our average price gets as low as possible. And that's why right now we're actually as this price is trading, still making massive amounts of profit, because the lower the price goes, the better. And I've described this with the book fund Benjamin Graham, I believe the intelligent investor, and so many different sources you'll be able to find. The lower things get in terms of price, the less risky they get. And again, for the most part, it's just a lot of fear. But we know where crypto is going to end up over the next, let's say 12 or 16 months or so. So all I'm looking for is the juiciest of entries. Even Rand said the average respectable correction in a bull market is 30%. We're already 20% down, and there may be like 10% more left to go if you're not going to catch the bottom if you miss the run up you will kick yourself. My theory, start buying now. If we go down to 34,000, buy all the way down, but don't miss the pump. And again, guys, that is also, but all our bots and stuff I'll talk about on Dusty Trades. I'm still testing a couple new ones because I wanna make sure they're spot on and easy for you guys to just copy with one click. If you're into all this bot trading, make sure you check out the link down below to OKX. It's the exchange I personally use for all this, uh, but BitGet could also work. I'll leave links for both of those down below. Bybit has the feature, but it's just worse, a specific bot we use for it. I am testing it out though with Bybit with just two bots and only $100 each just to see how it works. And as of this point, it is okay, but I prefer the other ones. <laughs> and I'm trying all sorts. This is for example, BitGet with a lot of high frequency, but also an OKX, very low frequency, bigger plays, more money. I'm just trying everything out. And I just wanna share everything that works because I've probably wasted a couple thousand dollars doing so. But at the end of the day, it's all, a little bit of tweaking, tweaking to make hundreds of thousands off of it. So the thousands are okay. It is, I'll say again, quite funny though, that they're by the rumors. So the new strategy worked out pretty splendidly by selling at 47. It was a pretty juicy spot. But even if you didn't, don't think it's a bad idea. If you're lowering your buys right now, as we speak, again, my own personal thoughts, we right now are all waiting for the Bitcoin halving, right? And at the same time, we've got ourselves massive grayscale outflows, massive um, Mt. Gox Bitcoin coming in that could be sold, etc. 
the grayscale outflow is partially being because of FTX, but that now being partially over or so. The other nine obviously also increasing with their intake relative to grayscale's outtake, which eventually will be done with. This week was huge. All the institutions joining the game, it's absolutely huge, guys. So don't think just because those guys get into the day and the prices went down, that right now it's panic mode, we're all done, it's all bad. It's temporary. And matter of fact, we've shown with our analysis prior that every single time ETFs of this sort are announced, prices do move down um, after a little bit of a, uh, a pump, which is why we said pump and then dump. And well, right now, because we're getting to really low price target, and I'll show you real quick. We're also getting to very significant and interesting points uh, as of the price. This whole 38K region was the most supported region below the whole $30,000 area, as you can see all the way on the left. This is basically the area where we were most keen on just accumulating as much as possible. This is also where we were at in like November or so of last year. And that's the funniest part. When prices come up, people think, wow, that's amazing. When prices come down, they think, whoa, what's going on? In reality, you're getting yourself a little discount to where we were just before all these ETFs came in. Count yourself lucky, go like crazy. And I think even though for the short term, you might hate yourself, you might hit yourself in the head. Over the next couple of weeks or months, you're going to thank yourself for getting into it. Obviously, don't let anybody force you into buying. Make sure you really, really consider properly what is good for you. Nobody can feel you, or I guess can feel your pockets. You have to decide for yourself what is wisdom and all that. I just actually got some texts that our bots are taking even more profit because what basically happens is I have noticed for most people, it's the mental part of buying your way down lower. That's difficult. It's not the idea. The concept of this crypto bull market dips is so simple, but it's to really go ahead, take your hard earned money, Put it in while prices are coming down. It feels hard on the brain. And I understand because I'm also a human still. So what these bots, what we're trying to mostly figure out with them is not any crazy algorithmic trading. Because as I said, that's for our, as the Dusty BC brand, different company. Different people do that. It's not my expertise. And I don't want to. All right. I like a lot of different things. What we like is to make sure that anybody can, over a bull run, make crazy amounts of gains in a very easy manner as long as their mental is on point. And if you know for yourself, it ain't gonna happen. Crypto's gonna be really, really hard. I talk about it with you guys more often. Altcoins that we've got, most of them will do minus 40%, minus 50%. And I don't care. I know the game. I know if I hold through, oh, if only I bought later. I made a video before talking about what if you buy $5 a day and the results were, you'd be very, very up. Here, for example, you have again that right now there's massive fears over the Mt. Gox selling situation. Bitcoin plunges below 39,000. Is Mt. Gox set to commence a distribution of 200,000 Bitcoin? Uh, $8 billion. But the one I wanted to show you was this one right here from Root. He said, for today's investors, the optimal DCA time frame, right? Dollar cost average, which basically means you average your price down, is 89 days. Aim to minimize risk and maximize profit based on the current position in the four-year cycle. Those adopting an 89-day DCA, even at the least opportune moment, were in profit within three years. Disclaimer, historical performance doesn't assure future results, but I'm telling you right now that if I look back at myself, what could I have done differently? Two things, right? I'd be most likely 10 times richer than I am right now if I knew this a bit, a bit ago, I should say. One, don't be a little wussy because I've got everything vested on this industry. It's not going away. So why even take these hefty risk precautions? But that's a story for a different day. It's just be willing to take the risk because the money that I'm investing I'll make again, but the opportunity I might never get, especially not in a time like this. So early, such a juicy one anyway. And that can be split up into two parts, which is one, know that buying the dip will result in crazy gains. So just put as much money into these positions as possible because you know it'll work. I, if anybody ever asks me, no, at least in my head, right? You don't have to agree with me. For a fact, the Bitcoin's going to 100,000. That some of the coins are going to crazy heights. It's, to me, it's a fact. It's not a question, it's a fact. So all I have to do is just buy my way down lower and I'll at least like have a 3X on my money. So if I have a, if I have a $10,000 right now, I'll have $30,000 soon enough. And I think it will be within a year even. The second one being, risk it more on these pre-sales and find out more information about them. What I did in the 2017 run, right? This is real talk between me and you guys. This is how you make money. Trust me that I say, I've been through so much crypto stuff because I've been posting here every day for seven years or so. I know a lot about this crypto space and a lot of mistakes. I've seen a lot of mistakes. I've seen many stories and I'm telling you this from real perspective. 
Um, partially, it's not going on to new trends, sticking to your old bags and keeping them stuck. I have sold Solana, I've sold XRP, some, right? I'm talking bags that were on exchanges stuck because I wanted to try a new strategy. I am not afraid to sell some of my holy grail crypto to try something new because that might just, where the, let's say Solana XRP line goes like this, this other strategy might make me go like this. And before, I would stay stuck. Oh no, because I've made this money, I wanna keep it in this one crypto. If you're staying stuck like that forever, you're becoming more of a passive investor instead of somebody who's really trying to grind their way to a lot of success or money or whatever. And I just noticed for myself, it's better to just play around with it more because the way I found Shiba Inu, the way I found Pepe, the way I sometimes all of a sudden get yourself like an $80,000 break from 400 bucks, just some crazy, crazy price action, because that doesn't happen too often, is mostly when I take a little risk um, where I didn't actually expect the greatest of results, but at least I'm trying different new things. Just investing in the cryptos I always talk about, I think will work, but it's like a guaranteed but slow manner, a little like a, like I said, steady growth, but there's less potential for crazy exponential type of new things because you don't know about them. Which is why I'm flying all over the place right now to find more out about those whole BRC ecosystems, why I've invested so much money into it, because I think a lot of money is in there, but I don't know anything about it. So I spend a lot of time, but last cycle, for example, the 2021 cycle, I was too stubborn to really dive in and accept all these possibilities. But the 2017 cycle, that's why 2017 cycle was my best, because I was really in the grind mode still, trying all these different things out. Then in 2021, I got a lot more lazy, and now I'm again back to this mindset of this has to be it. I don't care if you're trying to go from a dollar to $50 or from 100 million to 2 billion. I don't care where you're at right now in your life. This has to be your best run. And that's where I ended off with, okay? If you're not sure, just take it from me that DCA is something you should definitely take a look into. Again, cannot promise you results, but I can tell you it's one of the best things uh, you can at least take your time to look into. If you want it with bot strategies, make sure you subscribe to Dusty Trades. I'm heading over there tomorrow, most likely, and posting a more detailed update on exactly which bots I'm running, how to copy them, because it's literally copy trading. You don't have to do anything. You're just following exactly my trades. It's pretty simple. But once more, you need a little bit of breath. If you only have, let's say, $20 to your name, this ain't the thing. If you really are too scared, this ain't the thing. But if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, and I'll explain to you exactly what it is, just stick around and I'll show you. Because um, at least to me, that's where I have all my conviction. And it's historically speaking, worked pretty nicely. And I'll tell you once more as a little end, the bots I just showed you, they're all just testing, right? Those are not my main bots, the ones that have been running for a year and a half, something like that. These are just ones I've been trying out for the last couple of days because you got to always be tweaking. Always change the settings a little bit. Always try some new stuff. But yeah. Um, that's about it. Those things are, those are the things that are going on most likely or mostly right now. And I'm still extremely bullish. I don't give a crap about all this negativity. Let's go.